Hello to all my friends and uh, fellow Illuminated Burrito enthusiasts. Uh, this is Darth Paradigm. Today, I've decided to uh, review a couple uh, sabers from The Phantom Menace. And uh, these were both produced by Ultra Sabers. And um, just to <laughs> address uh, what's, what's been a little bit prevalent on my channel lately, uh, it seems I've been reviewing an awful lot of Ultra Sabers lately, and, and I admit that this is the truth. Uh, it just kind of happens to be the uh, the pattern that's been uh, going on lately as far as uh, things that have been arriving and what's been available um, to scratch my itch. I've been, uh, I've been procuring a lot of the Ultra Sabers hilts that I've wanted, uh, like the Guardian. And uh, on Monday, uh, just so you know, it's kind of seemed like I'm a bit of a hoarder. I, I'm expecting four uh, Sabres to arrive. Uh, the first one is my Sabre Mach uh, Makaze, which has been uh, in production for a little while. Uh, I'm also getting uh, from Ultra Sabres a, uh, a Bane. And uh, I also have coming from um, Blue, Blue Force Sabres, uh, he uh, recently uh, offered a, a modified, uh, heavily modified version of an Overlord and uh, with a Verso soundboard. And I was really kind of eager to, to buy another uh, saber from him. And I like the work that he's been doing. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I decided to pick that one up. And I'm, I'm going to, when I, I'll wait until I do the, uh, the uh, review of that saber. Um, but I've already decided on what I'm going to name it. Uh, and lastly, uh, I also have a uh, Diamond Driver equipped uh, Ultra Sabers um, Graphlex CE coming. So uh, that's going to be my first, and I'm planning on having it be my only Diamond Driver uh, Saber. I, I wanted to ex at least experience that. So uh, since the last uh, attempt to get a Saber with a Diamond Driver it didn't really pan out. so <laughs> But that, that all reconciled itself. So. And uh, moving along, so we have two sabers here. I have my consular, and the consular is tricked out with a Obsidian V4 uh, soundboard, and this one's equipped with um, Arctic Blue. No flash on Clash. Uh, the uh, shroud is of the not nickel plated variety. And this one does indeed come with a backlit switch. I bought this one used from uh, eBay quite some time ago. And it's been a stalwart. It's a really, really good saber. Uh, currently, I have a 32-inch uh, heavy grade blade installed, which is um, not too heavy at that length and uh, works really well in this hilt. And recently, I just acquired uh, my Guardian. And the Guardian also has... An obsidian v4 soundboard both uh my guardian and my consular are equipped with the um standard fonts that come equipped on a on such a saber and this one has a 32 inch ultra edge mid-grade blade and it's equipped with a guardian blue with a with a amethyst um violet amethyst flash on clash and does not have a backlit switch. So uh, this is kind of my ideal setup, but this one sort of, if I were to order another one, which I'm not, because my plan is uh, to acquire an Ultimate Works Master Q when they, uh, when they do their next release, um, which is a, a very, very screen accurate and relatively affordable version of the Master Q that's gonna come in NeoPixel. Apparently version four is uh, coming out according to you know, what I was told. Uh, from Ultimate Works, so I'm really excited for that uh, saber because, um, yeah, I really wanted to get a, a screen accurate Qui Gon Jin. But in the meantime, the Consular is an excellent saber. Uh, it is not really equipped to be too representative of of Qui Gon Jin's particular version of the saber. But um, it, it's to me, it uh, it fits uh, my preferences. I would prefer to have Flash on Clash, but that's not absolutely necessary. Uh, Arctic Blue is my favorite blade color, so um, there we go. On to the comparison. I've noticed some uh, similarities between the hilts. They're very subtle, but you can kind of see the influence. One of them is the uh, flange type emitter. The very, very end of the flange type emitter is very similar. Uh, you also have the, uh, the groove sections 
Obviously, there's some grooves here. Um, they're both sabers that have uh, shrouds, although they're different shrouds of a different nature. Um, mind you, the Guardian actually does have the nickel plating, so you can see the difference in the sheen. If you kind of, it's a nice little comparison to see how they how they differ. The uh, Consular just has your standard aluminum style finish, um, whereas the uh, the Guardian has the nickel plated finish, which I've grown to love. If if I did buy another one of these, and that's not completely out of the question. I mean, I I wouldn't mind having one or winning one. <laughs> In hint, that would be nice. Um, I would definitely get a more uh, Qui Gon Jinn accurate one. I'd probably get it with a with a nickel plated finish and in a consular green blade with a flash on clash. I'd probably have to just get a regular uh, a regular AV switch installed. Uh, so similarities, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's more of a degree of influences. It's not sort of a degree of direct copying one saber to the other. It's just subtle little influences. Uh, I think the next apparent influence would be sort of the way you have the handle with these uh, these grip points here. And then it's essentially kind of a core in a shroud. And Qui-Gon's saber is very much a core with a, a bit of a shroud where the core is more exposed, but you, you do have kind of these grooves and handles and bits, um, obviously they're different in nature. These are accented with a, the standard aluminum finish, whereas these are an anodized, so you don't see the aluminum. And uh, <laughs> as far as direct uh, comparisons, as I've said, <laughs> that's, that's about the uh, the extent of it. You do have kind of a, the effect of the shroud exposing the handle and then coming into more of a, a full wrap here, which is prevalent in uh, Qui-Gon's saber. So that's a that's another similarity. I think we're up to maybe three or four. <laughs> um, the positioning of the cover tech wheel is different, obviously, on the, uh, the Guardian. It's more towards the pommel and out of the way. It's a little bit more invasive on the uh, consular version. It might behoove them to move it down to that end. That might be something that you can even request when you order the saber. Although I didn't order this from Ultra Sabers. Um, but I can kind of see why they, they do put that down here. Uh, the only thing that really secures the shroud on the console in place is indeed the uh, cover tech wheel itself and the fact that the pommel butts up right against it. Uh, when you remove the pommel, this, this does tend to have a degree of looseness. My uh, my Ultimate Works Kishi works similarly. Uh, you you can you can ver veritably remove the pommel, and then you can start feeling the uh, looseness of the shroud. It's a very similar sort of design aspect uh, between an Imperial Knight and uh, Qui Gon Jinn's preferred hilt of choice. Um, and I don't know in uh, canon, you know, what would cause that type degree of similarity, but it's there. And then obviously the pommel on the consular is considerably simpler than the pommel is on uh, Obi Wan saber. I think Qui Gon was a much more uh, What's the word I'm looking for? A little bit more Spartan in his design ethos when it came to his saber. Just by virtue of the simplicity of the saber. And then Obi-Wan's was a bit, a more, bit more of a character. And even though his saber had some of the simplicity sort of alluding to the teachings of, uh, of Qui-Gon, uh, it does have a bit more flair. And... Nothing makes that more evidence than the flare here. <laughs> yeah. So I bet you want to see these things turned on, don't you? Don't you? All right. Well, let's do that. They're both set to the same font, which is episode one. So you get to listen to episode one in stereo. All right. No, no, that's not right.
as far as loudness, they're they're definitely comparable. They both essentially have vents uh, that resonate just about the same volume. Let's see if I can get these to work in sync. Here we go. That was uh, not as easy as it looked. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So there's uh, there's your comparison of the uh, Ultra Sabers Consular and the Ultra Sabers Guardian. The uh, two sabers uh, prevalent in um, the Phantom Menace. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, other than uh, Darth Maul's double-bladed saber, these were the only sabers that you saw. You didn't get to see uh, Yoda or Mace Windu or any of the other Jedi use their sabers until uh, Attack of the Clones, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, feel free to correct me on that. And as long as we're on the subject of uh, Attack of the Clones and the Clone Wars, uh, I have to say that uh, what I'm seeing from uh, the latest season featuring the indomitable Ahsoka Tano has really been... Uh, really been impressing me i have been thoroughly enjoying uh this season but the last two episodes up to this point uh were spectacular and uh i'm fully expecting that they're going to take the last four episodes and compose them into a, a bit of a, a movie and i would not be surprised if they added uh extra scenes and edit it in such a way to make it into a feature film complete with uh, you know your classic Star Wars scroll and uh, I, I I anticipate that I will buy that uh, and own it <laughs> I don't own any of the animated series I just have Disney plus and I've currently been uh, working through uh, I've currently been working through um, Star Wars Rebels, which is currently my, you know, I love Star Wars Rebels. I'm into season two. And I did some modification to my, uh, my Spectre today, which uh, I think I'll show you a video of later today. Anyway, so yeah, there it is. That's your comparison. I don't know what else I can add uh, to uh, what I've already said. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. So, you know, please subscribe. And, um, you know, give me your comments and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And if you like this video, then click like. And if you despise it with searing passion of a thousand blazing suns, then, um, yeah, by all means, dislike it. Doesn't hurt my feelings any. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Hope you're all happy and healthy and safe. That means an, an awful lot to me. I want you guys to, I want you guys to to be well. So, there you have it. That's my video for uh, for the moment. All right. I will talk to you later, and uh, you guys take care now. Okay. Bye bye.